Alright, so, um, there is a lot of mentally ill people in the Linux community. Um, and people ask this question. It's newbies that come over from Windows for the first time. They ask, do you need an antivirus on Linux? There was this one guy that I was watching yesterday, oh my god. He said, yes, you're going to need an antivirus on Linux. There's still that chance of you getting infected. I don't even know of an antivirus on Linux. <laughs> Bit Defender. And you gotta pay for these. Avast on Linux. Avast is malware. You don't even need this. It's horrible. You don't even need one on Windows. An antivirus on Windows doesn't do anything. If you're an absolute retard on the internet, then maybe. Maybe you're gonna need one. You might need one. And you're like, oh, ooh, I'm going to be looking at furry anime porn. Don't. Ruins your brain. But even then, you don't need that. Download something like Malvad or Tor. Get Tor. I don't have Tor, but get something like Tor. You don't need an antivirus. You could set up a firewall, but I think Mint comes with a firewall, yeah. You don't need a firewall, really, either. Like, Mint comes with the firewall disabled, by default. You don't need protection on Linux. If you're an absolute retard, you go SSH into random things, and you download anything you see on the internet. Uh, let's see, Fortnite, Linux, down... Well, let's see if we can find a malware link. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Download now. Let's download. Let's find something for Linux. That's... Like, most people that say you need an antivirus on Linux don't even know how to open an app on Linux. Let alone run a virus that is a script. You can very simply make a bash script virus... Uh, vim virus dot sh, uh, and then you gotta specify the shell and do all of that crazy stuff. It's not hard to write one, but the weird soy boys and soy jacks that want to write a virus and want to infect other people's computers for no reason. They're going to write it for Windows. Because that's what everybody uses. Oh, they use Windows. Who Windows. That's how we get them right there. It's Windows. No. That's not how you want to do it. You don't want to say, oh, uh, let's write a Linux virus. We are not stupid. People on Linux are not going to install a virus. You don't even need one on Windows unless you're a complete retard. I stripped Windows Defender out of my copy. We do not need that. You don't need an antivirus. This is all stuff built by these big corporations trying to tell you, oh, you're gonna get a virus. Same thing with Windows 7. It's completely safe to run. It's not going to kill. You're not gonna get a virus as soon as you boot up your computer. <sighs> I don't even have an antivirus on Windows. Don't have one on here. Never ran one. Don't want to have one on my laptop. Don't have one on my NAS. Don't have one on my home server. Nothing. You don't need any of these. If you really want a VPN, go for it. Those are fake too. Set up a proxy. Make your own VPN or use Molvad. Those are the only options. Okay? And now that I got that out of the way, I think it's time to call this video quits. I'm just I'm just fired up because I seen that. And um it was weird. It was very weird. Um it's, uh, stupid. Clam AV is free and open source. Okay, it's free and open source antivirus toolkit. If you want it, go ahead. It's free and open source. You can get it for Windows and it's free and open source. If, I found one right here. If you want an antivirus, download Clam AV. You can build it. You can download it on every operating system. You don't really need it. 
Just like you don't need a system cleaner either. You can get one. Like, yeah, system cleaners are fine. I don't care. Um, but it's still not necessary. You don't need a system cleaner either. You're not going to get a virus. I have never gotten a virus on my computer. Even when I was seven. I don't think. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. Nothing like this has happened. I've done some weird stuff on the internet. Not your typical definition of weird. Not kinky stuff. But I've done weird stuff on the internet. N haven't got a virus. That's all. Goodbye. I had to come out of my little break just to say that to you guys.